Summer 2013, Nathan Pereira poised to return to his All-Big South Conference form of 2011. After missing almost all of 2012 with a torn labrum, the six foot three wideout, ready to be a difference maker for first year head coach Jamie Chadwell's Bucks. A summer seven on seven drill though, altered those plans. They caught a slant right over here around probably the 40 yard line right there and uh, just came in, caught the slant, went up to went to make a move on the safety and my knee blew out. I knew, I dropped and it, it hit me right away that I was done again. Torn ACL, yes, done, no. After watching from the sideline during CSU's record-breaking 2013 season, everyone watched as Pereira re-emerged as a go-to target in 2014. 28 catches, 398 yards, both team highs. Perhaps no one happier for Pereira than wide receivers coach Willie Korn. You know, I drove him back to his apartment that day when it happened. Um, and, uh, you know, that was kind of, um, I mean, it was a really tough day uh, to, to see him go through that. And I just related to that because I remember the first game that really I got an opportunity to play after having so many injuries. It's at that point when you've been, you know, been at the lowest of the lows, it's not about your personal stats or how many balls you catch or how many touchdowns you catch. It's just, you know, just for the love and the excitement of going out and competing with, with your brother. Competing with confidence, Pereira eased his way back into the lineup before helping CSU seal a second straight perfect September. I, I think Charlotte was my best game. Um, I had a, a third down fade that I caught and uh, went up for it, came down and got it. And then I got uh, lit up on a post over the middle, but I came down with it. So I mean, I was thrilled and everything. And then I also had a touchdown that game. So I think that was one of my turning points. Before the turning point, six to eight months of rehab and, admittedly, some feelings of doubt. Pereira charted plays from the press box as the Bucks surged to a school record 10 wins. A coaching perspective gained and a deeper relationship with his coaches formed. The new coaching staff, you know, I, I think they, they helped a ton because they're all, we know how to be serious where we need to be, but they, can, they know how to kid around with us too. And I think them being able to kid around with me and just, make me laugh more and just being there for me and uh, just things like that is I think will help me through it. Help is what Pereira and fellow sixth year wideout Kevin Gleers provide to Corn in the wide receivers room. The combination of knowledge and talent make Pereira one reason CSU expects to compete for a championship in 2015. When he's when he's cutting loose and playing and, and, and not thinking he's, he's as good as anybody in this league. I'm really fortunate to have a guy like him in, in my room because he's, he's made me a better coach because he sees things that, that sometimes I don't see and he's been a great leader for us. Just ask freshman wideout Sire Davis. Each freshman on the Bucks roster is assigned an older brother and Davis is eager to learn from the 23 year old above him on the depth chart. I honestly want to thank God for putting him in my life because he's actually like a brother that I never had. I've always wanted to be a brother and he kind of stepped in Ever since I got here from day one, he has been riding me on everything, like every small detail, because uh, it would be like in the middle of the night and I'll text him and ask him about a play and he'll tell me or, or he'll remind me about something. And it's just like all the time I need help with something on the football field, I always go to him first because I know he's someone that know it. Six years at CSU will leave Pereira with a master's degree in criminal justice come December. A Big South title and FCS playoff berth That'd be nice too. Those old guys, Prater and Gleers, I mean, we've all, we've all been through a lot. We would love to go out with our last year here with a nice pretty ring to put on the finger. And, uh, and I mean, not even just a ring, you know, we want to make it to playoffs, make it deep and see how far it goes. I mean, we're going we're gonna to give it all we got. There's no laying off the gas pedal this year. It's full steam ahead.